we're going to make the hornworm chow for the tomato or tobacco hornworm. First thing is the non-toasted wheat germ. I got toasted, but you can get, you can use either or. You just need one cup of the wheat germ. Next is the non-fat dry milk. Here's the non-fat dry milk. Um, for this brand, you will not find it in stores. You can get it offline. It don't matter. You just need one third of a cup of the non-fat dry milk. If you can't find this brand, I got this brand. You don't have to get it. But you can get this one. It is the Great Value Non-Fat Dry Milk at Walmart. Either one is fine. It's the same thing. Next is the Argar Powder. Here is the Argar Powder. This is what it in the container. That's the bottle. And this is the powder. What it looks like in the powder. I don't know if you can see it. And it's powder inside. You just need four tablespoons of the Argar Powder. Next is a raw, pure raw flaxseed oil. You need one tablespoon. But if you don't have it in a bottle as liquid, you can also get it in a capsule. Here's the flaxseed oil, the 1000 uh, milligram capsules. Um, if you can't find the oil, here's the capsules. It's the same thing. But for the capsules, one, tea one tablespoon equals to 15 of these capsules. So here's the capsules. You just need, if you get the capsules, it's 15 of these. You just poke a hole and you just squeeze out the oil. Just be careful, it will get slippery. And then next, it is the nutritional flake yeast. You just need a half a tablespoon. Here is, well, it doesn't say nutritional, but it's an active dry yeast. It is powder. And as you can see, it's a powder dry yeast. You just need a tablespoon of it. Or half a tablespoon, correction. Next is the vitamin C tablets. Here's the vitamin C tablet, and you need the uh, 1,000 milligrams. You just need one tablet. This is what my tablet looks like. Some some of y'all may have the capsule, the one that can break in half, goes in powder. But if you don't have it, one of these will be fine, and you just crush it until this grinder I have. I crush mine in, in my grinder here. Old grinder. Uh, next is the vitamin B vitamin B you need two tablets here's a vitamin B you can get the vitamin B 50 or the 100 if you get the 100 you just need one tablet but since I got the vitamin B 50 I need two tablets I would just recommend getting the 50 the vitamin B 50 but I got two tablets um they're just orangey tablets um some of them you can actually break in half and it's powder inside, but I don't have that, so I have to crush mine to powder. You just need two tablets. Um, next is the multivitamin tablet. You need two tablets. Two tablets. I have the complete multivitamin tablets. These are what the tablets look like. You just need two of them. And then you just grind it up. You can either grind it in something, something like this or similar. Or you can put it in a blender. It's the same thing. Next, everyone knows what sugar looks like. But you need one tablespoon of sugar. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Last but not least, you need water. Not just cold water. You need two and a half cups of boiling water. Give it the cold water. It will not mix. But... I already did my batch. Um, here's my batch. Uh, you can see it's already becoming salt. Oh, as you can kind of tell, it's kind of liquidy. But at the end of everything, I will. This is a 16 ounce bottle. I would not recommend um, mixing all these ingredients and putting it in a 16 ounce bottle because with the powdered ingredients, just the powdered ingredients. It will get up to here. It will get up to here. And you will not be able to put the boiling water inside on that. Because it will overflow. And um, 
I already made my batch. I I have put it in a 32 ounce mason jar. Um, I have put it in, in a 32 ounce because it filled up the whole jar. Um, the reason why I have some in the 16 ounce is because it started over overflowing because of the dry yeast. Now the dry yeast yeast is active, so I would actually. Once you finish everything, seal it shut and put it in the fridge so everything could cool down and that the hornworm chow could become solid. And after a couple hours, it will be solid and ready to be fed, be given to your hornworms. Um, I will also be selling the all the ingredients before... I'll be selling the ingredients in 16 ounce jars with a Ziploc bag of the 15 capsules of the flaxseed oil if you do not have any. If you do if you do have the flaxseed oil, let me know so I just have to give you everything else in a 16 ounce mason jar. If you want to do that, you will have to put the flaxseed oil or I give you 15 capsules of the flaxseed oil. Put it in a blender mix it all up and add the two and a half cups of boiling water so you will have it already unless I can also sell it to you already made if you don't have time if you don't have time to put flaxseed oil put in put the boiling water in and waiting a couple hours to for it to cool down in the fridge if you don't want to wait, I can also sell you in a 16 ounce jar of hornworm chow already made full. Or if you don't want a 16 ounce, I can also sell you a 32 ounce jar of hornworm chow already made. But unfortunately, I made a lot. So I'm overflowing with hornworm chow. So, but, so it is. But also, um,. I forgot to mention, if you don't refrigerate after after mixing all the ingredients, the the um active yeast it will continue. Active yeast continues to bake or cook, as you can say, in, in the heat in heat. So if you don't refrigerate it, it will continue to uh bake and kind of grow and expand still so i would re recommend sorry for my stuttering i would recommend putting it in the fridge after you're done with everything um this is already cooled down a little bit as you can see earlier ago it was like earlier ago it was like right about here but since i haven't refrigerated it it has grown a little bit more i have given space to my other jar so um but yeah let me know if you want the powdered ingredients. If you want just the ingredients in the 16 ounce jar, let me know. I will sell it to you. I will give you a price for that. If you don't want the ingredients and you, just the ingredients and you don't want to finish up the remaining yourself. If you want warm worm chow already made, I will gladly sell you a 16 ounce or a 32 ounce jar full of hornworm chow already made and ready to go.